how I feel. Screaming on the inside. I love when I get carried away and doing my makeup and then I sit down and I'm like, right, I'm cleaning today. Today we are testing out some more, round two of cleaning gadgets as well as some hacks and just see what's actually worth doing. I swear this happens to me. Every, every single spring I have this like need to get rid of everything and clean my entire house. Maybe we'll do like a declutter of some description, but I like, I really feel like I have too much stuff. I have too much stuff. Need to streamline. As always, if you enjoy these, make sure you give it a thumbs up and check out the full playlist, which I will link at the end of this video. And I wanna start with a product that is a favorite of one of my favorite cleaning experts on TikTok, Vanessa. She has so many great recommendations, but this one in particular, I have never tried this brand before. I've never, honestly, I've never even heard of this brand before and she swears this is the best ever, nothing compares to it, glass cleaner. She said, and I quote, I will fight you on this, it is the best thing ever. And I was like, well done, I bought it. It was hard to find too. Like I was like, I had to spend a little bit of time looking for it. And it's the brand Sprayway, the world's best glass cleaner. This can be used on mirrors, on glass, things like that. <laughs> Windshields apparently, and other glass surfaces. And this is going to just give you a streak free, perfect finish every single time. And so I figured we'd test it because my mirrors are often dirty. I don't know what it is about two year olds, but they will always find a mirrored service and just, you know, just whack it a couple of times. So let's go and find some dirty mirrors, shall we? And as a shocker to no one, it's mine. That's the most dirty. Good for me. So we have the cleaner here. Um, let's uh, put this to the test. I have to give it a little bit of a shake. And I also have to bend down because <laughs> Then you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, I have two different cloths, by the way. I have one that's meant for glass and I have one that is not meant for glass, but it's, you know, a cleaning cloth. So I'm going to attempt with both and just see if it matters. Get my soap out of the way. Woo! I don't know what I was expecting, but it's kind of foamy. Oh, it does not smell good. Oh, there we go. Foamy. Haha, you can't see me. <laughs> it just says wipe clean. It doesn't say use damp cloth to wipe clean. We'll just do it this way. This side with the regular cloth. I mean, that was very easy. I hate cleaning. <laughs> it's my least favorite job. The foaminess is very satisfying. All right, how? How did we do? Wow. I'm like really looking up close to see if I can see any streaks. Do you see any streaks? Cause I don't. And that was quick too. Like that wasn't like a difficult, like, oh, we have to check for any streakiness and like go over it a couple of times so the streakiness disappeared. No, that was awesome. I can see why she likes it so much. That was th the easiest ever mirror clean. I'm gonna try another mirror, but like that was so ridiculously easy. I really like, okay, let's go find another one. Here's probably the mirror that gets the most crappy. Just in our front hall. So uh, let's do this one. Shake. Wipe. I feel like I didn't even need that much product. I feel like I, I used mildly too much, which, you know, sounds about right. But like, wow. Wow, that was easy. Like, look at that. That is streak free, my friends. So that is now my new favorite glass cleaner. I see why you like Vanessa. Okay, wow, we're off to a good start. Next up is a hack to help brighten your white towels and keep them looking nice and fresh and white. Um, and that's using Dawn dish soap. Now I've been told, I've seen cartoons of what happens when you put dish soap where it doesn't belong. Bubble explosions. <laughs> but apparently if you put it directly onto one of the towels, you stick it in the wash, it's going to absorb more slowly and it's going to help to eliminate anything that's kind of clinging to the towels and make them look brighter. So I figured I would show you my dirty white towels in the before and then we can kind of see and compare if there is actually a difference. So here we go, here are my towels. I'm doing this in like just natural light so we can see, you can see right here my <laughs> self tanner. This towel, I mean, they're not terrible in terms of brightness but I mean, they could definitely use a little freshen up, you know? And then I also have a little towel over here. Um, Let's see if this works. So the person I saw said to use about a quarter sized amount. So not a ton, we're just putting a little bit in. So I guess something like this, and then it's just gonna get absorbed really, really slowly into the washing machine and brighten everything. So let's see if it works. All right, so 
of those works. All right, I'm back and they have been through the dryer. I don't notice a difference. Maybe they need to go in a couple of times. If you have any recos, like this in particular, like I, I see no, no changes whatsoever. I don't know about this one. Okay, this I don't know if I've tested or it's just something I saw a lot of during like peak lockdown, but it's the Chom Chom. I bought it because I couldn't find it anywhere in my house. I, I don't know, I, maybe, Maybe someone has it, I saw it, I have no idea. But regardless, I bought it because I noticed, remember that, um, you know the moon pod that we tested in the Shark Tank video? <laughs> Spoiler alert, another one's coming soon. Video, not another moon pod. Well, we use that like beanbag chair a ton in our house. Like it's just such a cozy place to kind of just curl up, read a book, watch a show. But I find that the fabric, it just, it picks up a lot of lint, dust, hair on it very frequently. And I was like, oh, I wanna get rid of it, but I don't wanna use one of those like sticky rollers because I feel like it's gonna mess with the fabric. So I figured we could test, it, you know, this on it. Cause I think that could actually be very, <laughs> very useful in my life because this doesn't have any adhesives in it. It has like a, like a fabric basically on it that helps to eliminate any of the in the use. It's supposed to be for pet hair. But let us go on a journey to the moon pod. You can see there's like tons of like little hairs and stuff all over. It's honestly not too bad right now. Um, but still, I feel like it could use a little clean. Cat. Ooh. Pulls a little bit on this fabric. Is it just me or does it sound like a cat? Perfect. Let's try it on my little like bottom end in here. Like, does that not sound like a cat? Like a, a really mad cat? Like, honestly, I feel like it is picking up everything really nicely. Oh, by the way, this is how you open it. It's just like this little thing here. And then inside, ah, cat hair or dogs or people or just lint in my case. This to me is a lot easier to do than, you know, say the vacuum and bonus, I bet my kids would like this. And if you have kids, you know how delightful it is when you find something that's both helpful and entertaining. It's just like, it's like a double win. It's a unicorn of products. So yes, I really, really like this, but I'm just gonna wanna keep opening it and looking and be like, ew, gross, look at all the dust and stuff. I can see why it's so popular. All right guys, guess what? We're back in my shower and also bringing back another product from a previous video and that is shaving cream. Because apparently on any glass surface, even your glasses, if you spray some shaving cream on and then like wipe it in, it's gonna create this film that's gonna prevent fog, which I think is pretty cool. So I wanted to try it on this guy. It doesn't say how much to spray, but like, I don't, I like it, Picasso. Do I need more than that? It doesn't feel like a lot. Ooh! Forgot that it doesn't <laughs> attach very well to the, um, the wall. Okay, I'm just gonna use a cloth. It says to do this to dry and just... Have I been bamboozled again? Did I use too much? <laughs> Oh no, this better be worth it. Now, do you think if I left it like this, Chris would notice a difference? Be like, look, I um, defogged the glass. I feel like I used too much. It was too much, it was too much, it was too much. It was, it's too much, okay, okay. What if I take this and I apply it to another mirrored surface? <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. Screaming on the inside. Okay, that's, it's fine, it's fine, it's, it's totally fine, it's fine. I'm gonna put this down over here for a second. <laughs> Get another cloth. Don't make my mistake. Oh my goodness. Small amount, Rachel, small amount. Okay, I'm not seeing any streakiness, which is great. Seems to be coming off. Then I'll just use whatever I have left on here on the other side of the glass. Oh, such long monkey arms. Hello. Scooping up some of the extra. That's good. So, oh, it's very streaky. <laughs> Don't be streaky. Better now? Okay, I feel like that's better now. 
All right, so the only way we're gonna know is when someone has a shower. So next shower, post shower, I will show you this and we'll see if it's not fogged up. All right, now we're in my messy kitchen for good reason, because we're gonna be testing out a product I actually saw a lot of requests for in the Shark Tank Kickstarter video, and that is for me to test out the Scrub Mommy. In that video, I test out the Scrub Daddy. I, I still use it, it's actually it's over there if you could see it, and I really like it, but a lot of you were saying that this is even better, so I wanna try it out. And in case you didn't know, because I did a lot of research for that video, they do have like a recycling program, so you can send them in and then you get money off to spend in their store, so just so you know. A lot of people, it seemed like, didn't know that. All right, so this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it even has a bow. Adorable. So the difference between the two is that this one is dual-ended, so it has like a softer side, like a sponge, and then a scrubber. So I guess people found that this was just a lot more versatile of a sponge. So I want to test it out knowing that I've tested the, <laughs> there it is over there, the, uh, this one has seen better days. I need to get my other one. But knowing what I know about this one, how much I like it, I want to see the, how this one compares. Playing Tetris, trying to stack my dishes up. Ta -da. From a first impression standpoint, I do like it. I will say, however, that I don't like the feeling, of, like the sensation of it when the water's cold because this part gets very stiff and this part is still very soft. So it's just, it's like, difficult to wield, but I do like it for cleaning off the countertops. There was like some stuff that was stuck on so I could just flip it back and forth. So that was quite useful, but I feel like this side is gonna get worn down a lot faster than this side. So for me personally, I still like the scrub daddy the best. All right, back upstairs. I'm gonna be battling two products against each other and they are te like technically cleaning products, but more in the clothing world. One is this crease release spray. I saw a lot of people talking about how great it is. Um, it has a good scent and it's supposed to release any wrinkles you have in your fabric. And then the other one is this cool looking handheld garment steamer. You can't see it. There it is. It looks like a hammer. It's supposed to be a lot easier to maneuver around and utilize. And um, I want to test it. It just looks so cool online. Here is the shirt that we're going to be using. I figured we could just divide it down the middle and just see what the results are like on each side. Um, but yeah, it's just a t-shirt I left out and um, it's now wrinkled. It is clean though. So I guess we should start by unboxing this guy. That is it. Feels like I'm gonna break it. Oh, apparently not. Here is the water cylinder right here. Here is the little <laughs> hammer. And then I guess I just have to fill it and that's it. Awesome. How do I, oh, you want me, they want me to fill it into here. I thought this like unscrewed or something, but no. Gotta make it real difficult. Gotta get right into that spot. All right, I plugged it in behind my <laughs> Wall of PR. Hopefully that's on box now and not on my Instagram if you're interested. But now on to steaming, because it only took about 30 seconds to heat up, which is great. Now in the photos that I saw of these things being used, they did it like down like an iron, basically. Woo. All right, neat, glad it's working. But then in the instructions, it said, put it on a hanger and hang it up. So I don't know who to trust here. So I'm gonna do it both ways. Good so far, it's not leaking everywhere, which is great. I feel like I need to like have it up to make sure the, the wrinkles are released, but like I could do it down like this. It does seem to be a bit sporadic with how it's distributing some of the steam sometimes. It feels like sometimes the steam comes out and then sometimes it just gives like a burst of it, you know? Not too bad though. Like not my favorite, but not too bad. Let's try it upright now. Do 
See what I mean? Like it just like sporadically sprays some. All right. So that's just like a quick steam. Gives you a little water on there, but otherwise it's not too bad. But now let's try this, um, this spray stuff. I wanna know what this smells like first. I've been burned before. Spray it on this bag. <laughs> Touched me. Blech. It's... It's not unpleasant. Bubbling at me, but it's not plugged in. <laughs> it says it's like sandalwood and sweet musk and a touch of citrus for the ultimate clean laundry smell. It doesn't smell like perfume. It definitely has a clean smell. It smells like clean hotel laundry. That's, that's a strong smell. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's just do a small area <laughs> just to see if it gets the wrinkles out. Spray six inches away and smooth fabric with hands. Seems pretty straightforward. Smooth out the wrinkles. I mean, it did, it did work. Okay. The smell is so, ah, uh, how do I feel about it? I don't know if I'd want my laundry to smell like that. Like it did do what it said it was gonna do. Just the smell, it's just too like clean grandpa smell. Just very starchy is the best way I can describe it. Like really, it smells like crisp linens, but like in a very aggressive chemical laundry way. That's how my shirt smells now. Well, I'm gonna go and wash that because I don't like the scent, but I, I mean, it didn't work. It's just, I don't like the smell. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Well, let me know if you've tried any of these products before or if there are any in the future that we should try for another round of cleaning hacks and gadgets. Make sure you check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day and I will see you guys all next week.